What's happening? <clears throat> Let me do this shit right, man. I said, what's happening? What's up? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? You already know the name, man. You already know the slang, man. You already know the game, man. I said, what's happening? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Talk to me now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm sitting here looking at the moon. <clears throat> Of course, you see the sun behind me. But, anyway, that ain't what I came here to talk to y'all about today. But, anyway, uh, you know, it just feel good, man. You know, man, it feel good to be uh, dropping some more information for my people, you know. Uh, you know, man, this shit be like fight night, you know. And, like, I'm the fighter. You dig? I'm talking about, like, I'm the favorite one. Like, yeah, I'm talking about, like, yeah, that shit be like that. Like, boy, nigga... Damn, they got the BG, boy. Like, I'm talking about, like, boy, I don't know. It be some type of energy that just be flowing through a nigga. You, you know what I'm saying? Prior to me putting these videos out, so you know, you know what I'm saying? I had to get on the camera and I had to channel my energy, you know? But, yeah, man, I'm hella excited to uh, teach y'all about, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, CMEs, you know? Coronal mass ejections, uh. Yeah, man, uh, shit, you know, I'm going to uh, put y'all on game about that because it's a major, major, major stuff happening as above. <clears throat> and we so below and we don't even know what the hell going on. So, you know, yeah, man, you already know the name, you already know the slang, you already know the gang. I'm back where I started at. I, I know y'all missed them car videos, you know. <laughs> You know, I had to go back to my root shit. I had started getting bougie, man. You know, I had, um, shit, you know, I had started shooting videos everywhere else and all that shit, you know, because I didn't want to keep going back into the whip. But now I'm back into the whip. You did what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah, man, I'm going to see y'all on this other phone that I got right here because this one right here finna go dead. So, yeah, man, um, Give me like three seconds, you know, <laughs> as if y'all really going to know. But like, yeah, man, we finna get into this lecture, man. We finna get into this corona mass ejection, man. This shit is real. Everybody get y'all pen, get y'all pass out, you know. Um, uh, 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 um, Put your glasses on, turn your hearing aids up, um, whatever you need to do. Because, you know, this shit about to go up. You dig? Shit, like I said, this is going to go up real quick, y'all. Hold up. Let me see if I can set it up right. You feel me? That way, I ain't gotta be holding on to it, you know. But yeah, anyway, uh, we back on it, you know. Uh, but anyway, before I start the lecture, I just want to let y'all know that uh, all of my nine ether beings, whatever's happening to that sun, is happening to you. Whatever happening to that sun is happening to us. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. We're going to talk about these corona mass ejections. I got a small little article, so you know, be patient. And make sure you listen and pay attention. Please, please, please. Because if not, when this shit go down, you ain't going to know nothing. You're going to be like, what the hell going on? See, I'm trying to put you on some, so pay attention and listen to me. Please don't ask a nice one. So, okay, let me read this article, man. Be patient, because I'm reading. <clears throat> you know, I know how to read. <laughs> you dig? But anyway, the article say, A devastating solar storm could send mankind back to dark age in doomsday forecast. The troubling storm with fry satellites and crash power grids, su supplying whole cities, prompting widespread blackouts and disrupting phone networks. A devastating solar storm could send mankind back to the dark ages. According to new research, the phenomenon has been spotted for the first time in a stellar system just a hundred light years away. Astronomers describe this spectacular fireworks show as troubling, warning a similar event could hit Earth. It will fry satellites in orbit and crash power grids serving entire cities, causing widespread blackouts and knocking out phone networks. The star is named E.K. Draconis, and it's Latin for dragon, and it is breathing fire. 
It lies in the constellation of Draco in the far northern sky. Known as CME, coronal mass ejection, the sun shoots out such eruptions on a regular basis. They are made up of clouds of extremely hot particles or plasma that hurtle the space at millions of miles an hour. And they are potentially bad news. Every hundred years or so, or so they are released in our direction. Coronal mass ejections can have a serious impact on Earth and human society. The international team observed the astonishing burst of energy pouring out of the EK Draconis. It was much more powerful than any seen before. Experts fear a catastrophic solar storm will hit us by the end of the century. The researchers used ground and space based telescopes to peer, which is to look. Anyway, they be trying to use all them crazy words. Man, but listen, I got y'all. But anyway, the researchers used ground and space based telescopes to, to look at EK Draconis, which resembles a young version of the sun. It emitted a mass of scorching plasma and quadrillions of kilograms, over 10 times bigger than the previous record from a sun-like star. It may serve as a warning of just how dangerous the weather and space can be. We don't just got weather down here, we got weather and space too. Understand that. Understand that. Overstand that. Don't understand nothing. This kind of big mass ejection could theoretically also occur on our sun. This observation may also help us to better understand how similar events may have affected Earth and even Mars over billions of years. He explains CMEs often occur right after a star lets loose a flare or sudden and bright burst of radiation that can extend far out into space. An earlier study by the same group found young sun-like stars around the galaxy experience frequent super flares. They are like our own solar flares, but tens or even hundreds of times more potent. Such a super flare could theoretically also happen on Earth's sun and lead to an equally enormous coronal mass ejection. Super flares are much bigger than the flares we see from the sun. So we suspect they would also produce much bigger mass ejections, but until recently though, that was just conjecture. He described E.K. Draconis as a curious star. It is about the same size as the sun, but just 100 million years old. It is what our sun looked like 4.5 billion years ago. This planet going back to its original state. But anyway, I'ma just keep reading the article. I'ma let y'all get what y'all get out of it. Cause I ain't finna keep, keep I ain't finna keep thinking for y'all. I gotta let y'all think for yourself. But anyway, the researchers watched the star for 32 nights and winter and spring. And the researchers watched the star for 32 nights in winter and spring last year. On April 5th, they got lucky as E.K. Draconis erupted into a super flare. A really big one. Half an hour half an hour later, a CME flew from the star's surface. The researchers were only able to catch the first step of his life, the filament eruption phase. But even so, it was a monster. Moving at a top speed of roughly one million miles per hour. Damn. It does not bode well for life on Earth. That right too. But anyway, the findings in nature astronomy hint the sun is also capable of such violent extremes but looking on the bright side super cmes are probably rare in old stars they may have been much more common in the early years of the solar system gigantic coronal mass ejections in other words could have helped to shape planets like earth and mars into what they look like today the atmosphere of present-day mars is very thin compared to earth in the past, we think Mars had, had a much thicker atmosphere. Coronal mass ejection may help us understand what happened to the planet over billions of years. Two years ago, researchers at the US Geological Survey predicted a solar storm could hit us at any minute, at any moment, with no guarantee we'll spot it coming. If it happened in the modern world, 
the cost will run into trillions of dollars, which I got another video I'm gonna explain what would happen if a, uh, how much, how much it would cost if a catastrophe hit the earth. But anyway, if it happened in the modern world, the cost will run into trillions of dollars, which if it happened, what the hell you even worry about money for anyway. But anyway, in 2012, a huge CME, which could have decimated electronics, missed the earth by just nine days in 2012. The event was comparable to the 1859 Carrington event in which telegraph operators suffered electric shocks and sparks exploded from pylons. But yeah, but yeah, uh, keep an eye out, you know, on the uh, CMEs, you know. Ain't nothing that we can do about it. If it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit, you know. But uh, but yeah, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, you know, sometimes you gotta destroy some, sometimes you gotta destroy shit to rebuild it better, you know, so, so, so yeah, man, we could be going back into the dark ages, um, you know, uh, don't nobody panic, you know, everything that's happening, it was already gonna happen, and, um, it's supposed to have been happening at that time, so, you know, everything is divine, so, you know. It is what it is, man. But yeah, man. Nah, either bins. Oh yeah, to all my nah either bins, man. Go watch that real Black History video too, man. That quote unquote Black History, cause we not black anyway. Black is colorless. So, so what the fuck are we? Are are we really black people? But anyway, whatever happening to the sun is happening to us because we are children of the sun. But yeah, we not black because black is colorless. They call us black, and then they want to turn around and call us color. What it's going to be? You see what I'm saying? I'm here to open your mind up, you know, but I got to let y'all think for y'all self. So, yeah, man, you know. Do y'all research on this corona mass ejection, man. And shout out to the boy Kalai, man. You know that. You already know the name. You already know the slang. You already know the game, man. I'm 